They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but brunch has to be the funnest. And these are eight of the greatest places to make your morning more mouthwatering. The Farmer's Daughter in Easton and Sudbury is one of the tastiest, most creative farm-to-table breakfast spots in the country. And you'll probably want to skip lunch if you order some of their thick-cut brioche French toast. With the brioche French toast, I take a bread pudding approach to it. So we start with brioche bread. We soak that in our really rich custard batter. A little bit of vanilla, some orange zest. We cut like a clean mountain high square out of this thing. I top that off with cinnamon honey butter, which we put on almost all of our sweet options. Of course, you're going to have butter and syrup, but it's just that little extra thing that adds a layer of flavor. With locations in Massachusetts and New Hampshire, the Friendly Toast knows how to bring it when it comes to brunch. All week long, you can feast your eyes on the elaborate decor while you sink your fork into creative plates like breakfast egg rolls filled with scrambled eggs, house-cured hash, cheddar, and pickled onion slaw, an over-the-top brunch burger, and flights of boozy ways to start your day. So I think a lot of places do brunch kind of like halfway. We are masters at brunch. Like, this is our thing, this is our jam, so we put a lot of time and energy into it. Our food is incredible. We have a full scratch kitchen. We do very creative cocktails. We have mimosa flights, coffee flights. So food, drink, amazing. Decor obviously is pretty insane and incredible. <laughs> Jake's has been serving the city of Northampton, Massachusetts, homestyle comfort food for decades. And they're best known for their hash, with over 50 varieties. All of these creative hashes are displayed on a board that greets you as you walk in. And the recipes rotate daily, so you can feast on everything from traditional hash to shepherd's pie hash, even bacon cheeseburger hash. Who doesn't like good bacon cheeseburger? Take it something that people know and people love, and then manipulating it into breakfast food. So bacon cheeseburger hash. So you take a bite of it, and all you're missing is the bread. Loretta's Last Call on Lansdowne Street brings real southern food and hospitality to the northeast. The dining room is decked out with honky-tonk decorations, along with a patio outside and a long bar inside that serves classic brews from Schlitz to Scheinerbach and moonshine-inspired cocktails. And the menu really rocks during their weekend brunch when you can get everything from your typical full breakfast to southern treats like biscuits and sausage gravy topped with two eggs to creamy, dreamy mac and cheese. Located in Worcester, Altea's is a comfortable family-run spot serving a Parisian-inspired brunch seven days a week. So there are all the French favorites from a delicious croque majeure, beautiful crepes stuffed with sweet and savory fillings, and their version of French toast called pan pardu. Freshly baked brioche dipped in our egg batter, a French toast batter, and it's cooked in the griddle in the perfect timing and then placed on the plate and topped off with blueberries, mascarpone cheese, and walnuts. And it's just heaven one of the most best-seller dishes in our menu. Named after the owner's adorable dog, Dante's Kitchen is a small but spirited spot serving southern-inspired brunch and lunch in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. There are staples like biscuits and gravy topped with two eggs and creamy shrimp and cheddar grits spiked with roasted red peppers and caramelized onions, chicken and waffles smothered in bourbon maple syrup, BLTs made with fried green tomatoes, crispy pork belly po' boys, and authentic jambalaya. But it's the addictive New Orleans-style beignets that are a must order whether you have them before or after a meal at Dante's. Everybody either orders beignets before dessert as their appetizer or they order it as dessert. They're very light and airy and you feel like you could eat more because they are so light. <laughs> Located in a strip mall in Rockland, Mass, Stevie G's is a family-run spot with passionate owners who like to get inventive in the AM with both sweet and savory dishes like the house-smoked brisket hash benny, breakfast tachos loaded with queso, bacon, pico, jalapenos, and two sunny eggs, and the ultra-popular brunch burger. If you want to start your day on the sweet side, you could opt for their carrot cake French toast, topped with a cream cheese drizzle, caramel sauce, and candied pecans, a Reese's peanut butter cup waffle, loaded with crumbled candy and a peanut butter drizzle, or the truly unique cannoli pancake tacos. We make our little silver dollar pancakes. They're gonna go into a taco fold. We're gonna pipe our ricotta filling right in there, top them with some strawberries, chocolate chips. We even do some cannoli crunchies on top, so you're gonna get a little bit of a crunch, some whipped cream on there, and it's just something that you wouldn't necessarily see at a breakfast place. 
With multiple locations across New Hampshire, including this one in Merrimack, Tucker's is a breakfast and lunch spot with big plates of all your favorites. The breakfast menu boasts satisfying options like this Irish spin on Eggs Benedict topped with homemade corned beef, oversized breakfast burritos, and the fan favorite, the Sedona skillet. The Sedona skillet is scrambled eggs with cheese and picante peppers and onions, and then it's topped with guacamole and chipotle aioli, and then it's on a bed of hash browns. And if you get them crispy, it's even better. It's amazing. <laughs> They're eight of the greatest places for brunch. Only the best make it to the great eight.